that is uh, uh, building things by hand. And it's over 200 years now. It's a very good tradition. Uh, we have a museum, we have art school, and so on. Now, to produce our related wood we use, it's uh, wood veneer, laminated wood, you see? So we bought timber from all around the world. Some is local, but almost 25% of wood is important. To that, we use exotic wood, aged wood, I should say. For example, the first log here, now this will be a, a black walnut from California. See how long it's been here? Next one, with local olive wood from here, chestnut, some uh, walnut from Brazil. See what else is available on the market design and what we use for our veneers is uh, the roots of trees. You know, so, what is it on the ground? We call it cancer of trees. It comes outside the roots, you run the post like this. But in the meantime, we have to cut those roots. Uh, we have to put on the balcony, a big terrace over here, from uh, six months, uh, even a year time, to get all the water out. Because uh, you're seeing the world rivers. So we have to keep the right first. Otherwise, we open at the end with water inside. And then with a special knife, we peel very few like this one here. So after a week, I never bought this. And then we choose uh, minimum six, uh, maximum 24 the time of the year. All the different colors, uh, different shape, different quality. Here, for example, we have a, a Berzai maple from Canada. Maple. Then we have a ebony, it's a black ebony. This would be a poplar, right? Poplar wood, see? See, that's the reason why we use the root for the burn and the curling. Here we have some light mahogany wood, that's mahogany. This will be elm, then we have black walnut here. That's black walnut. <coughs> Here we have some uh, local olive for me. That's olive food from here. It will be a lot like the lo local orange. That's orange from here. And then what you see here, uh, the green, the blue purples, the ones we cannot get from nature. It's uh, either white ash or birch. You know birch? Yeah. We bleach it, that comes pure white, and then we dye. That's dye wood. We dye wood first with the natural substance. Uh, we do this dye those for here. To that you may see most of the upper of the flowering, see? Uh, therefore, we need some uh, colors. For example, see the green one here? Uh, we only use uh, for the leaves, the leaves see? but most of the background is natural color. In this case, it's a dark mahogany wood. There you go. And then we nail one on the top of the other like this. But before we nail, so on top of all, uh, we have to place a paper design, see? With the uh, same length and same shape. Of course, you can do whatever. Uh, we have to produce a big group of design, something bigger. In that case, we do it a big design like this one here. And this one, for example, one of those uh, uh, rectangular side here. See how big it is? And then we don't have to get like this one here with, uh, you know, with a tiny brass and the edges. With an electric computer, uh, we have to make a tiny hole right at the top of this design up here. And then introduce it. It's very fine so like jigsaw. It's almost like diamond so you can see it. So you want to source the bread inside, you have to under this machine over here. Uh, we have to push the pedal. Uh, while this one goes up and down, like a scrosser or like sewing machine, anywhere else. But you have to guide all by hand, in and out, until we reach the bottom. And that's where you're up with something different. Like to have every frame. Wow. And then afterwards, if you open those frames one by one, you see? Uh, we we'll spread on the table, and then the back of each one of here, uh, we have to glue a massing tape. See, you know, massing tape to glue and assembly all the center pieces which you cut in the first place. See the massing tape? And then we turn over, and we get the bit and piece one by one from the tray, insert, insert it all by hand. See, the tiny piece of wood? So it's like a puzzle. Imagine a jigsaw puzzle. We cut first, and then put inside in the empty space until we reach the bottom. When it's completely set up, glue inside here, uh, we will have 12 pictures with the exact same design, but each one different. See? They will be the exact same color, it will be the exact same design. This one here, we call it tarsier. In fact, if you look in transparency, now you may notice some uh, white lines, little gaps between flowers and leaves. Now that's what the soul left us when we cut it, see the space. And then to cover all those lines here, uh, we have to put some uh, uh, wood.